G'day everyone. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you today is about a solution for uh, NDs for the Osmo Action. Now, the problem with the Osmo Action is that if you do want to make it more filmic and use things like 24p um, and then control the shutter speed, uh, you have to put something like an ND on there. Uh, and it's only recently that they've brought NDs out that you could use it. You can use it in its default state and all it will do is put the shutter speed right up. And that's fine if you're say doing it for action and things like that where the fast shutter speed doesn't really matter. But if you do want to make things look more filmic, running it at 24 frames per second or double your uh, actual frame rate is the way to go. So if you're going to control things manually, you have to put an ND on to um, onto the Osmo Action or any other device that you use. So Freewell sent me this setup that I've got here. So this is their all day pack. Uh, and I'll show you in a second what that looks like, but it has multiple NDs that are built into this. Now inside the package itself, uh, you do get some, uh, I suppose it'll be some instructions and things like that. Um, I'll just open this up so we can have a look because I've only just opened this. Uh, yeah, there's a lens cleaning cloth that's inside there. Uh, it's telling you how to take your filter off if you need to take your filter off the camera as well. And there's just some instructions about how to do that. So that's in that packet. Now this pack actually contains, there's an ND4, an ND8, an ND16, there's an ND8 polarizing filter, there's an ND16 polarizing filter, an ND32 polarizing filter and an ND64 polarizing filter. So there's filters without polarizers and there's filters with polarizers. And polarizers have the advantage that they can make the skies nice and blue, make the clouds stand out. Now I can't show that today because there's no clouds in the sky, but I will be able to show you the difference of what an ND will do, say, to the, make the skies bluer and things like that. Uh, and the NDs just enable you to control your shutter speed, so that's another great feature with that uh, as well. Uh, and so the pack just comes like this. So it comes in this neat little folder or plastic container and if I open that up you can see here that the NDs are actually here so you can just grab out the ND that you need and then screw it onto the actual um, Osmo Action and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay so the first thing you've got to do is take this lens uh, off that's already on there and you just do that by screwing uh, this little plastic cover off. Uh, but then all you would do is you just bring out the appropriate ND uh, and I'll discuss that when I'm showing you the uh, thing later on. But like if it's in bright daylight you're going to need an ND16 or something like that or an ND32. Uh, so I'll just put anything on just to show you how they're attached. So, so all I do is I then take the filter out and then screw it onto the actual device uh, like that and that's as simple as it is. It will see on the side here that it will say that this is the ND16. All right, so now we'll look at a circular polarizer. Uh, so I'll put that on. It goes on the same way as I did before. The difference now is that it has this uh, bit that you can turn on the front, which is the circular polarizer part to this filter. So this is an ND32 with a circular polarizer on as well. So what we'll do now is I'll do some footage and show you how this actually works. So what you'll notice here is that I've now got this set in manual. Now I've put the ND16 on there uh, and the settings that I'm using, because I'm going manual, uh, I'm on 4K uh, 50p. So I want the shutter speed to be 1 one hundredth. And this gives me the ability to do that now because I've now got my uh, manual exposure and I'm on 1 one hundredth and I'm on the lowest ISO possible. So it's given me an exposure that's workable now. And so now when I walk, it'll give me more of a filmic look rather than having a really high shutter speed. Uh, now one real advantage of doing this too is that I can now also use the polarizing filter uh, and I'll show you this as I turn it around. So I'm, I'm now going to turn the filter around and you'll see what will happen to the sky. Notice how the sky now has become very, very blue. So having that polarizing filter on there will enable you to make that sky a lovely blue color. And if it was cloudy today, the clouds would really pop out of the image, which also would be fantastic. Um, if you have windows as well, like uh, if you're looking at a window that's got quite a lot of reflection in it, uh, it can also get rid of that as well, which is really nice as well. So again, I'm just sort of showing how this will give you that nice 1 100th of a second shutter speed. Uh, so it should give a nice filmic type look uh, as I'm walking around, which is really nice. Uh, and that, like I said, you couldn't do this unless you had the ND. The shutter speed will be really, really high. Yeah, there's no real windows that I can actually find that have reflection because they're all in the shade, but I thought I'd show you this anyway. If I, it also gets rid of things like glare on um, 
things as well. So if I turn this around, it should get rid of a bit of the glare that's showing on that um, uh, water tank there as well. So that's with the polarizing on full. And then if I take it away, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. Um, that will be taken away. So that's away and then bring it back in where it's there and it's, it's maximum. Now the, these filters, the, these polarizing filters do work best when you're 90 degrees to the sun. So it just depends on where the sun is at the time, uh, how good they actually are. Um, but it's certainly, uh, if you are 90 degrees to the sun, you certainly do get a beautiful uh, looking result um, with using the uh, polarizing filters. But you definitely need the NDs to get that uh, control using your shutter speed, which is like I said, the important thing for me is to be able to uh, keep that double your frame rate, which is great. Uh, and I think these filters are very, very well made uh, and I'm very happy uh, with the results that they're giving me.